Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. And we have 51 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Uh, the first thing I want to say is I want to give my deepest condolences to anybody that lost their life lost a family member, had any type of trauma from the September 11 attacks in 2001. I can remember exactly where I was at. I was attending college at Clinton Junior College in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I can remember leaving my dorm room going out into the population room where the TVs were and someone telling me that a plane crashed through the World Trade Center. And I didn't have time to even take it in or I didn't even have the capacity to take in what was actually happening. I just went to my class and being 21 at the time, like I said, I didn't have the capacity to even understand what really was going on, how monumental this event would be in our lives moving forward. This would change our lives completely. A few years back, me and my daughter, my mother, and my niece, we went to New York City to watch a group that's actually from Colombia, from Palenque, named Combalisa Me. We went to New York City to watch them perform. And while there, we went to Ground Zero and I met a guy named George, and he was a survivor. He's an old guy, he's an old guy, and he explained what he endured and told us about the people that he lost in that event. I never actually met someone that went through that event that was there. It was my first time at Ground Zero. So to see how massive this area was and still is, it was amazing to me. Last night, it was the 2024 presidential debate. Don't really have much to say about it. I watched it. I watched it. Just like mo most of the nation was tuned on, tuned into it. The significance of all of this is that as Americans, we just want to be able to achieve the American dream for ourselves, but before ourselves as a man, as men, for our families. As a black American man, our plight is even a little bit more different, right? And everyone has their challenges. Everyone has their challenges. But one thing is for sure, two things for certain. As people, we are more alike than we are different. If I go outside and I scrape my knee, I go outside and I get cut, red blood comes out of my body. The same thing for somebody that's white, that's Asian, that's Indian. That's black. It's the same thing. So I believe we're more alike than we are different. And 
I think we just all want opportunities. We all want the best for our families. We all want America to be a place where we can achieve the American dream, where we can thrive and build the ideas that we have. And right now, obviously, America is not a place that's favorable to be able to even buy groceries like we used to buy groceries and it not hurt us financially. So with that said, like I said, you know, with that said, my deepest condolences for any family member, any person that lost their life in 9-11 and also the war that was started after that. Whatever happens in this presidential election, I just hope and pray that it's best for our country. Um, obviously, you know, I, I do love America, but I'm going to be putting more of my life here and praying and hoping, you know, my business grows so we can, I can show my family and my family can get to being here as well. And I can grow on my family, my two sons that I want and my wife that I want. So that's all I have to say this morning. Um, it's 9.20 a.m. And uh, you guys have a good day. So my idea is All Dream Sports Academy. All right. Okay. It's... First of all, Okay. where do you say they show up? So I've been so I've been had I've been had the idea, right? I've been had the idea where where I wanted to have facilities mm -hmm. where you know basketball, soccer, all the sports, all the yeah, all the sports. So in the inception of all dreams, that was an idea that I had. Mm -hmm. Okay, somewhere in Cartagena, like like I I, I didn't, it, but it, it wasn't as far as I'm thinking now, right? It just was something where it was like, man, wouldn't it be cool to have basketball facilities or whatever people could come and, you know, and hoop and stuff like that. And, you know, like kids can, because I wanted a place for them to be able to kind of, you know, train and stuff like that, right? Didn't think about any academy. Didn't think of like the logistics or anything like that. Didn't think of where it would be. I didn't know any of that stuff. Uh, as I'm seeing what's happening here, I'm like, you have all of that stuff that's going on up north. Uh, you have Bahia Cristo, you have Ser Serena Del Mar, Barcelona. you have Barcelona, all, all of that stuff that's happening up north. And I just started thinking and looking at IMG, I keep seeing things from IMG. I'm like, yo. We need to, be, you know, then, not to mention, I talked to a football coach months ago. He has a pretty large following. And he was like, man, you know, like, man, I would love to come down there and teach football and things like that, like American football or whatever, do some seven-on-sevens. I was like, man, this would be a great place for, for something like that or whatever. So when I get in, then, you know, I'm involved in watching these sports everywhere. One thing about this place is, Everyone, every kid almost is involved in sports. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's a, it's a, it's a big thing. Yeah. I mean, like kids here, you see them with their jerseys, where they playing soccer, they playing basketball. They're, you know, uh, and yeah, they, they're rollerblading. Like it's like these kids are. It's like sports is a really, really big thing here. Um. Yeah. So that's kind of where, you know, as I'm watching this and I'm like, yo, like as I'm talking to people about the All Dreams platform, I'm like, yo, this All Dreams platform is going to be big, right? And I'm like, yo, what were the reasons why I came here and why I fell in love with this place? For one, is that it's so, so 
close to the United States. Like today, if I need to get out of here, I can get out of here and be back. You know, like, look, it's it's 9.49 a.m. I can be back home by 3. Yeah. If I want to just book a flight right now, like, they probably got a flight leaving at 1. Mm-hmm. And, then I, and then I can get, you know, so the proximity to the United States. So then I get to thinking, like, okay, like, if we build IMG here, the kids, the training the teams would be able to compete against high schools, top high schools in the United States because it, the proximity, they would be able to go there. And the condition for the, for the facility is going to be optimist. Right, exactly. Because you already know the, the, the Coliseum Bernardo Caballo. Right. That's the only one we have. That's the right only here. one. That's, yeah, that's the only one. And still, yeah, he still don't have the, all the, the condition for the, a pretty good basketball team or a pretty good right. top. Players. Right. So, yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, well, and then another thing crossed my mind. It's a, it's a ranch in Texas. It's a baseball ranch, and they have nothing but baseball. They have baseball fields, and this ranch makes a lot of money because teams come to play in these tournaments or whatever. It's, I mean, it's, it's top-of-the-line stuff where these beautiful baseball fields, but when these teams come, they house them, like, you know, all of that. So it's like tournaments that they have year round that people go to all from all around the United States to come play in these tournaments. And this ranch makes a lot of money or whatever by running this, running this thing or whatever. Right. And I'm like, well, how about put all of that together? So you have, so you can have academy with all of the different sports that we want to have. Right. You can have events, you can have tournaments, you know, kids playing from, you know, kids coming in to Cartagena playing these different tournaments where it would be AAU, all of these different tournaments or whatever. But then you also have housing where they stay right on the premises or whatever. But then as I'm looking at IMG, you can have camps and things like that. But guess what else? All of this stuff is documented for the Dreamers vault. So it's a place where they're also being able to be taught how to tell their story as an as an athlete as well, all in one place, which is already a destination place for tourism. So now they not only have the athletics, but they also have the city and the beaches that they can enjoy as well. So I'm like, this is this would be the perfect location for something like that. That's where it came about. <laughs> okay. All right. Tell me. The first, uh, the, you have the the main the main street, all right? Right. This is a this is this is a whole, um, this is a whole town. Who already with people in, in some too, and it's a big area. How will we find out how many acres that is, <laughs> and who and who owns that? Bro. Um, the Bolivar Land. It's a company called called Bolivar Land mm-hmm. who owns who owns this with this and and they and they say something to the to the to the to the, to the government. They they have the discussion and that they reset and they and they give the the, the information to the to the government who who buy what is what is that and they have to approve everything and everything like that. Yeah. So how many is, acres do you think that is? So that that's called what is this? La, es, La Esmeralda. La Esmeralda is a is a is a pretty town. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty small town. All right. Um, can you can you go closer on there? So it's like really nothing. No, really, it really is really nothing. And how far is that from from this from down from downtown? All right. If we if we say if we say. Um, Bahia Crystal is yeah. So yeah. Is so there. how far how far is that Esmeralda from Bahia Crystal? Or, all right. Yeah. So let's or do let's here. let's do that. Bahia Crystal to Esmeralda. It's forty five. It's forty eight minutes. Forty eight minutes from our location. From our location right here. All right. Mm-hmm. To La Esmeralda. It's forty eight minutes. So if we ever was gonna get. 
If we, if we, if, if we ever was going to give 500 acres in Esmeralda, we better do it fast. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> like, for real. Like, like, it's very true. There is, a, there is a hotel near the Esmeralda. It's a, it's a hotel near called uh, Hotel Entre, Entre Las Lomas. Uh huh. Between, between, between Lums is the name. That's, this is a hotel. Okay. And La Esmeralda is all this place. How will we be able to figure out how much, how many acres is out in, in well, Esmeralda? Have to, we have to go to the to the facilities to, to Bolivar Land. And oh, to, to, uh, to yeah, they have they have facilities. They, they, okay. Um, I think it's in Turbaco. I I think the the facility 